Meanwhile, Congressman Sean Duffy butting heads with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez over her Green New Deal. Watch. The Green New Deal is one uh, that if you're a rich liberal from maybe New York or California, it sounds great because you can afford to retrofit your home or build a new home that has uh, a zero emissions, that's energy efficient, affordable and safe. You want to tell people that their concern and their desire for clean air and clean water is elitist? Tell that to the kids in the South Bronx, which are suffering from the highest rates of childhood asthma in the country. Now, all this happened as House Republicans have created a group committing, committed to a forming their own plan, one that they say will, quote, be all of the above approach to energy. Here to explain is the co-chair of that group, South Carolina Republican Jeff Duncan. Good to see you, Congressman. What's the focus of your energy action team? So this is the House Energy Action Team. It uh, was reformulated. We actually had that in uh, 2011 until about 2016. And it's a focus on informing the American people, our constituents, about all the above energy approach, about energy policy, but also pushing back against bad policy like the Green New Deal, which would cost $93 trillion, would raise electrical rates for uh, many Americans. And we all know that when uh, rates go up, it, it hurts the impoverished people, the lower income population, much more as a percentage of their income uh, than it does anyone else. This plan is bad news, and I think it's DOA. But one thing we are going to do, David, is we're going to hopefully get a discharge petition uh, presented by Jody Heiss next week, get enough signatures, and try to bring the Green New Deal to the floor. And let's put the Democrats on the record, just like the mm -hmm. Senate did yesterday, where no senator could even support the plan that they were co-sponsors of. Mm -hmm. uh, Congressman Duncan. Congressman. Okay. Oh, Congressman, it's Carol Roth. I uh, just wanted to ask you, first of all, I wanted to commend you. I think that this is a very important for the Republicans to be doing and to be addressing. In terms of a potential New Deal, do you plan to address China? Because from the Green New Deal standpoint, I couldn't take that seriously at all, given the fact that the big, biggest polluter in the world is China, and then slow, uh, right thereafter are these emerging market countries. So is that something that will be a cornerstone of what you're addressing? Well, I think we have to address what uh, the emissions levels are in China and India. Uh, emerging economies, they're, they're growing fast. They're using a lot of uh, cheap energy like coal. But if we could encourage them through our policy to convert to more natural gas, cleaner burning, and, and be a, a importer of our natural gas so that we can export nat more natural gas really all over the world, but China and India, to lower their emissions, I think that's a, a positive pro first step that we can take as part of our broader policy. Uh, Congressman Steve Forbes here. Uh, are there any uh, thoughts about removing barriers to new nuclear power plants? Uh, there's talk now of bringing back an old technology that looks pretty good now, molten salt technology, which gets around the problem of spent rods and the like. And also, are you going to continue these massive subsidies on alternative energies, which have run around the world over $2 trillion and really haven't delivered very much? Right. Well, first off, no new subsidies. I don't believe in government subsidies and picking winners and losers in the marketplace, especially when it comes to energy. We've got an abundant supply of energy in this country that we can export to help improve the lives of so many people around the globe. But getting to your question about nuclear power, that is an alternative. Very low carbon footprint. Uh, we need to look at small modular reactors to provide nuclear power for small cities, even large neighborhoods. We also need to look at the alternative uh, nuclear of thorium and uh, molten salt reactors, which was tried back in the 60s. China's working on that. I think that type of technology helps uh, with the fuel, the yeah. spent fuel issue, as well as um, the safety issue, because lots it'll of, just burn lots itself Lots of out. alternatives out there, Congressman. But Absolutely. I just want to get your thoughts on yesterday's Senate vote, if I can, because the Democrats have called that GOP move a political stunt. But don't you think it's a political stunt to use it as a policy slogan, but then not raise your hand on the record for it? Yeah, it's definitely an on-the-record uh, um, move by Mitch McConnell. Let's see where these Democrats really believe about this Green New Deal. Let's begin pushing back. Let's get them on the record. I think three Democrats voted against it. Not a single Democrat supported a bill, even when they were co-sponsors of the Green New Deal. We want to do the same thing in the House. Congressman, you're saying you don't like the Green New Deal. No one likes the Green New Deal. That's not such a stretch. And your answer right. to it is to talk about, okay, more coal, more this, more that. Isn't there any kind of space for Republicans to come up with something? Something, some kind of low hanging fruit on the environment to get any kind of stance on this issue because a majority of voters want people to pay attention to the environment. 
Right. Well, when you talk about uh, carbon footprint, then you can support nuclear power, just like the governor of Connecticut, who was going to take two nuclear power reactors offline, decided, you know, we're going to relicense those because we understand that nuclear power plays a big part in lowering our carbon emissions and our carbon footprint. So there's one alternative right there to support that. Uh, LNG exports to lower carbon emissions globally, not just in the U.S., with our cleaner burning natural gas that we have an abundance of here because of the Bakken and yeah. the Marcellus Shell and Eagle Ford. Let's start exporting that and let's start encouraging countries like China and India uh, and even more use in the U.S. of so clean burning natural gas. Congressman yeah. Duncan, we thank you for coming. We had to cut it yeah. short because we had breaking news. Really appreciate you being here.